everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this video in particular I've been wanting to get done now for a while but every time I try and do it half the time the battery dies and I'm like great. Ireland went in with a national selection for the first time in a very very long time which was a little bit of a shock for a few of us but um, I think maybe after a few years of doing internals and it hasn't worked out for them they decided right let's go back to the old format. And when, they say the, when I say the old format, they literally did. And in the end, they've gone with Brooke Scullion, and her song is called That's Rich. Now, she does have a music video, um, which I guess I could look at, but I've decided I'm going to go back to the national final performance because it does give me a bit of a better impression on how it looks. So I'm going in with that. Anyways, moving on. So the thing is, is that you look at the staging and you can do so much with it, but you're in a studio, you can only do so much. Immediately you, you start hearing it and you're thinking, this is going to be a bop. Okay, audio is playing up in my headphones, despite it being fully charged. Good verse. And it's, it's got a nice flow from that verse into the chorus. Yeah, okay, the choreo is dated, but again, it's just little things you can change going into touring. Brooke is having fun while doing it, but at the same time, she's got the charisma. She's got that stage presence, which will work in her favour. I always wondered why they were in pyjamas in to begin with, but maybe someone could explain that for me. I must admit, when I watched this and then I saw her winner's performance, she did have more confidence in that, but it just shows that she is improving as we go along. And you listen to the song and you think, those of us who watch the show, you're just like, yeah, they had to pick this one. It was the clear standout. Does she have the best vocals in the world? No. But it works. This bit I absolutely love. Because I'm sure a lot of people could probably relate to this. Okay, I'm uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm not talking so much, but it's just such an enjoyable song that I'm just so into it. But it does have this infectious beat, and um, I think I think it stands out. I think, providing they get the staging right, I think this might have a fair chance. Okay, maybe not those notes in particular otherwise she sounded pretty solid all the way through but yeah i apologize if it, I, I didn't talk too much during that i think it's the when it's fresh in your head and you do it for the first time i think you've got more to say but if it's been a while then you find it a bit more difficult to come out with things but i think overall for me um i like the song um when i was doing my rankings and i was listening to them a lot of the songs just felt really, really flat for me, but this one actually um, held up and I can remember it a little bit more than the others. So I thought, well, if I can remember it, it's got to have something there to it. And again, you look at the staging and you're just like, well, you can't really do a lot of stuff with it because you've got absolutely no resources. You, know, you maybe have like two, three cameras and max you can actually work off. Again, with what Brooke came up with in that short space of time, which is actually really, really good. The song has a nice um, oomph to it, and that it's a song I think a lot of people could enjoy. Now, in terms of actual qualification, because that's what we're looking at more than anything for Ireland at the moment, because since 2013, they've only been in the final once, and yeah, okay, they were robbed, but honestly, um, given the way the last um, couple of entries have gone for them. Um, I mean, 2019 they finished dead last. In 2021, uh, they almost finished dead last, and that is not good. That is really, really not good. So this year they really need to pull the socks up. And I think if if they get the staging right in Turin, I think they've got a fair idea. And I think Brooke said that she was pretty open to criticism, and because she's always constantly wants to improve. So. I couldn't necessarily suggest any ideas on what to do in Turin, but I think the staging does need some work. I think if you've got, there is a bit of a concept there, and I think if they're going with a concept, I think it will work in their favour. Just don't go overboard like what uh, Leslie Roy did. 
Otherwise, I think the vocals are mostly fine. Uh, the confidence is there, the charisma's there. Um, I think if you play with the cameras a bit more, again, in Turin, you're gonna have more to work with, so that will work in your favor. The worst thing for me, and I think this is the same for all, this goes for all the performers, there was absolutely nothing put into this show whatsoever. Because we've worked with the Late Late Show now for like so many years and then they decided, no, okay, it's not working, let's go internal. And then they thought this year, oh, let's go national final again, but they've gone back to their old system. No, give a, give your asses a proper national final, give them a proper stage set up. Give them the resources they need and it will look much better because it is so difficult for me to actually criticise this when there's not a lot I can go on. I can't say, oh well, the staging is actually pretty good to go, because obviously it's not. Because you've got this tiny floor space that you've, you can work with. You don't need that. And before they come out with and say, uh, I can't, we can't afford it. Yeah, you can. You just don't want to. You just don't want to put the effort in. And that is a problem with our TA in general and their delegation. They need to get that sorted. Because it's not fair on the acts. If San Marino could come up with something, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was watching San Marino's show last night and yeah, okay, they had the bare minimum, but again, you know, San Marino don't really have the space. You've got absolutely no excuse. So that's my point. And if they say they can't afford to host Eurovision, well, what the hell are you competing for then? Why are you even in it? And even if you did win, you've still got that thing where you could literally turn around and go, okay, we don't have the money, we don't have the resources. Can someone host it on our behalf? Because that's what Australia are going to have to do. They can't host it because of the time difference. They're going to have to get somebody else to host it for them. So, yeah, okay, rant's over, but that was my point. But yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with the song. I'm happy with the vocals. Obviously, they're going to go back, back now and work on the staging. But, yeah, that's all I can really add to it, really. So, uh, put down your thoughts in the comments, uh, what did you think about the show in general, uh, what did you think about Brick's song? Also, more content coming your way, uh, obviously I've got the rest of the reactions to do, uh, for each country, and I've also got all the national final performances, um, performances? All the national finals, uh, to look at and do a ranking for, so that's coming along. Yeah, feel free to like, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. So, take care.